a year before my plant-based journey um, was probably, I was probably at my worst at about 38 years old. Um, at my very worst, I was on the max dose of fentanyl and before I went to bed, I'd take about 15 to 20 opioids and I would drink an entire liter of vodka. I weighed over 400 pounds. We really don't know how much over 400 because my doctor couldn't weigh me. My blood pressure was 255 over 115. I was on about 20 prescriptions a month and the insurance company was paying $19,000 a year uh, just for my pharmaceuticals. I would go to bed at night not knowing if I'd wake up in the morning and I really don't know if I cared one way or the other. My whole life I had you know, asked for things and always worried about what I didn't have instead of being grateful for what I did have. I knew I wasn't gonna live much longer the way I was going, so I had to change. Um, and I did that for my wife and my family. The first thing that I did was go to my doctor and see if I could get bariatric surgery. Well, I thought this would you know, be my answer for everything. And I was actually so sick that he wouldn't sign off on the operation. Um, and it was probably the best thing that never happened to me. Um, I came home absolutely hopeless. Um, I didn't know what to do. It's kind of ironic because I grew up um, hunting and fishing. In the area we live, you know, I grew up on a dairy farm and all we did, that's all we knew was hunting and fishing. Um, my diet consists of meat and dairy, you know, as the main part of my plate. Um, so this was like really out there. And I'm kind of glad I didn't know what I was getting into because um, I might not have done it, but I decided to go on a 30-day juice fast. Um, the first couple days were terrible. Um, and then after I got going, things that you know had been wrong with me for decades started changing. I started feeling better, more energy. Um, actually, on the fifth day, it was the first night that I actually slept through the night without having to get up. I actually felt like I wanted to have a life again. Then I learned about the whole food, plant-based diet, and it didn't just save my life, it gave me a completely new one. People look at the weight loss, the 200 pound weight loss, and they can look at my blood work and my vitals and all that stuff. And that stuff is super cool, and that's the stuff that people see, but it's really the stuff that people don't see that made the biggest difference, you know? I used to look in my wife's eyes, and they were always filled with sympathy because I could never get up and around. I was almost in a wheelchair. And it was always that dad was sick or her husband was sick and that's just the way it was. But now, you know, just last September, I was able to do uh, Ironman half at Lake Placid. And to see her eyes now switch from that sympathy to just pride and being so proud of my accomplishments, like that's the stuff that people need to understand. And really what was happening with the plant-based diet is the inflammation was going out of my body. And then the more I would do, the stronger I got, the better it was for my joints. I still can't even believe it if I didn't see pictures of it. But the finish line, that's the thing, you know. They say when you go through a race that you should always picture the finish line. And I did, but my finish line was a little bit different than everyone else's that day because my finish line sat about 20 feet the other side of the line, and it was Heather.